This is the story of Nakia Rogers, aged 36, a Wisconsin woman who was shot in the head by her ex-boyfriend, Ernest Terrell Blakeney, age 47. Ernest who had just pleaded guilty to sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl but remained out in public on a $5,000 bond went ahead 10 days later to kill Nakia his ex-girlfriend. He shot her point-blank right in the head then torched the whole house and cars out of jealousy and delusion. He would later confess his crimes to his friends but went on the run for days before leading the cops on a crazy car chase. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Topic tonight's 10, 12 News investigates. Did a man commit a violent murder while out on bond for another crime? That murder happened just days ago. Police found the victim shot to death in a burning home last week near 83rd in Vienna. That victim, Nakia Rogers. This case will be taking us to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, also known as the city that beer built. The city is located on the shore of Lake Michigan at the confluence of three rivers, the Menominee, the Kinnikinnick, and the Milwaukee River. Milwaukee is famous for the Milwaukee Bucks, the Brewers, some of the United States' largest breweries, and several historic and stunning landmarks. Nikia Toya Rogers, aged 36, is a happy young woman who loved life to the fullest. She went to school at Young Women's Leadership Charter School and later worked at Medical Biller at Aetna Insurance Company. Nikia was originally from Chicago but lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In Milwaukee, Nikia met a man named Ernest Blakeney, age 47. He seemed like a very cool person. He loved motorbikes. He lived a type of life that appealed to Nikia. Sometimes they got on his bike together for a ride or even go on helicopter ride. Things really seems good for her. Nikia and Ernest became a force to recon with, they were so much in love. They would go on a date night together, they did a lot of things together. Nikia was always posting him on her social media page. On this particular post, she said, Good, bad, right, wrong, ups and downs, you have been an amazing partner. My motivator, my support system, literally the one person that has enough patience to deal with me, and baby I know some days are harder than others but no matter what you stand ten toes down. You make my life feel like a dream sometimes I ask myself often how did I get this lucky. I am extremely blessed that I have you in my life. Each and every day you continue to fill up not just my heart but you fill my soul, you are my person. Five years today and many 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 years to come love you forever. Family and friends would also leave nice comments whenever this lovey-dovey pictures are posted. Most envied them and wished they could have a blissful relationship just like hers not knowing all that glitter aren't gold. Things started going south when Ernest started being controlling, abusive and continually accused Nikia of cheating. Nikia told her friends that he had been acting, crazy and bipolar. Things took another turn when Ernest was arrested for sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl. He would end up pleading guilty to sexually assaulting the 13-year-old girl on August 15th. This is where the story gets weird, the prosecutor requested that the judge immediately remand Blakeney into custody ahead of an October sentencing hearing, where prosecutors planned to recommend a sentence of six to eight years. But somehow the Milwaukee County Circuit Court Judge David Borowski opted to let Blakeney remain out on the same $5,000 bail, originally set in October 2021, to let him get his affairs wrapped up before prison. This would end up being a very costly mistake on the part of the county. Ten days after this hearing was when disaster struck. On this fateful day, Nikia had been trying to get away from this man. She had been trying to get her things out of the house in which they shared. Ernest kept insisting Nikia was cheating on him even though he had no proof to back this up. Shortly before her death, Nikia sent a text to a male friend of hers saying she was heading to his house to get the last bit of her stuffs. After she got there, she sent a text to her friend saying Ernest was physically okay but was not mentally okay. 
He would send a text later to her that he had some food ready for her but a response never came. She never replied to her male friend but soon after her male friend got a message from Nakia's phone saying, you should have left her alone. He then replied saying, excuse me, Ernest replied, she dead. He further replied again asking, this Terrell, referring to his middle name, Ernest replied, yes. Soon after, the Milwaukee Police and Fire Department responded to a call of a house fire around 4.28 a.m. at the home Blakeney had shared with his girlfriend Nikia Rogers. The fire department were in the middle of extinguishing the house fire, they located a victim who was later determined to be Nikia Rogers. She was found dead with two gunshot injuries. She had been shot in the head and in the back. A container of lighter fluid was found next to her and her body had several injuries that appeared to be consistent with someone setting her ablaze afterwards. A house fire in Milwaukee's Nash Park neighborhood quickly turned into a homicide investigation early this morning. New at 5, Ryan Jenkins talked to neighbors, family, and friends about a woman found dead inside a burning home. You can see the damage left behind after a blaze at this home near the corner of 83rd and Vienna. And now neighbors are shocked and a grieving family is sharing more about the woman they say was found shot dead inside this burning home. I pulled out of my garage at three o'clock exactly to head to work and not, it was still very quiet at that time. For Al Kitzman, an overnight inferno was disturbing enough to learn about. He's lived here for 10 years and was at work when fire crews rushed to his neighbor's home just after four in the morning Thursday. I got the call from the neighbor lady that she was in my house because um, there was a fire at the house adjacent to theirs and they were afraid it would spread to theirs. I guess windows were cracking or something and it was quite an inferno according to what she told me. Crews were able to extinguish this fire at this home near 83rd in Vienna relatively quickly. The initial knock on the fire happened real quick. We were able to knock down the bulk of the fire rapidly. But what firefighters found while inside was even more shocking. Police say crews discovered a 36-year-old woman shot to death. Friends and family identifying her as Nakia Rogers and say they fear this was yet another deadly case of domestic violence in our city. Nakia's best friend tells me Nakia's boyfriend is a suspect though police have not yet confirmed those details. I just say a prayer to them and hope that they can navigate through it. As the search for answers continued, investigators remained on scene for a majority of the day Thursday, combing through the charred home and garage and towing away a burned truck, collecting evidence as they say they continue to search for a suspect. An autopsy would later determine that Nakia had been shot twice, once in the head and a second time in the lower back. Nikia's car was missing at the house and her boyfriend Ernest was nowhere to be found. It didn't take long for investigators to suspect Ernest had something to do with it especially after Nikia's male friend came up with the text evidence. Also someone else told detectives that Ernest called him around 5 a.m. on August 25th and said that he was in the woods and he was sorry, but ended the phone call before providing any other details. 30 minutes later, Ernest showed up at his house drenched from the rain and was bleeding too. He requested for clothing. Then he allegedly told the man, she made me do it, before eventually admitting, I shot her. He confessed he shot Nakia to his friend because she was moving out and he also believed that Nakia has been cheating on him. He confessed to torching the house, car, and three tractor trailers and that he didn't deserve to live. Few hours later police found Nakia's car but Ernest was nowhere to be found. It was later discovered that Ernest had taken another man at gunpoint and demanded his car. He locked him up in a trailer and escaped into the man's car. Ernest remained at large for a while. A lot of people were questioning why he was on bond in the first place since he pled guilty to sexually assaulting a young girl. Just hours ago, we had learned the accused killer, Ernest Blackney, pleaded guilty in a child sex assault case 10 days before the homicide. Let's get right to 12 News' Kristen Pierce, who's investigating live tonight. Kristen, with that guilty plea, do we know why Blackney was not in jail? Joyce, that is definitely the question for the judge tonight. The state wanted to put Blackney in jail, but the judge denied that motion. According to the Wisconsin Circuit Court, on August 15th, Ernest Blackney, who goes by his middle name Terrell, pleaded guilty to second-degree sexual assault of a child. The criminal complaint said a 13-year-old girl in 2020. Court details say the state requested for him to be taken into custody, but the judge denied that motion. The judge scheduled a sentencing hearing for October 20th, but just 10 days after appearing in court, 
Police say he killed Rogers, his ex-girlfriend. Days later, MPD conducted a traffic stop. The occupant later identified as Ernest Blakeney took off leading the police into a police chase. The chase was captured by passers-by on their cell phones. His car was somehow disabled by the police, but he would not surrender to the police even after he exited the car. He started shooting at them and they had no option than to return fire. During the gun battle Ernest was fatally shot by the police and he was pronounced dead on the scene. A 22-year-old bystander from Hudson was also shot. She was taken to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A wanted murder suspect is dead after several days on the run. He led police on a chase last night, then got in a shootout with officers. MPD says officers tried to pull over a truck at 22nd and National just before 11 last night. That truck was connected to a homicide. The driver took off. The chase ended with a shootout downtown near Juno and Edison. Onlookers waiting outside bars cheered. <laughs> as the blue Chevy Silverado fled from police near where it all happened. Police say when the truck stopped, the suspect jumped out shooting. The suspect was killed. A 22-year-old woman was hurt. No police were hurt. It is unknown whose gunfire struck the innocent bystander. The officers involved will be placed on administrative duty as routine in officer-involved critical incidents. Police say despite it being a Friday night, it wasn't the water street you guys have filmed in the past where you've seen tons and tons of people. We were lucky. Nikia's mother told reporters that Nikia never saw it coming. She never thought Ernest could have done that to her in a million years. This is a very sad case where there was not a lot of red flags. Very unfortunate and sad incident. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Nikia Rogers. May Nikia's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.